Hi y'all, this is Reverend Dr. MC Burns coming to you live from the park. Um, I just wanted to, I got a couple of messages, especially for the earth stewards and wanted to share. One is about doing a chakra alignment, not only for us individually, but for the earth. And as you know, Mount Shasta, in Northern California is considered the root chakra for the earth and so that root chakra is what is at the tail you know your uh, the back of your spine or uh, your tailbone so if you can get out into nature you want to get out and get your feet on the ground um, if you can get your feet on the ground get on this earth whether it's on the beach in some grassy area do your breathing you know where you bring in the light that comes from the core of the earth to the to the heavens and also where it comes from the heavens down to the core of the earth you want to uh so do your breathing do that many times and then if you've ever been to mount shasta envision yourself there if you haven't been like i haven't been there's a lot of videos on youtube i posted a picture you can use that picture and just imagine yourself there Um, if you go on YouTube, there are like people who are exploring Mount Shasta. Just mute the sound, see the images, and imagine yourself there. Imagine yourself giving love and energy to the area, and also use it to release whatever fears or doubts you have, because it can hold it. And then receive from that area. And whatever comes up for you, write it down. Uh, for me, uh, I got the messages of simplicity. So in my dreams um, this morning, the Lemuriums came to me and they just shone this really inner bright light that just took over the world. It was healing. It was healthy. It was amazing. Uh, so, so that's one exercise you can do. The other thing is... Uh, I decided to wear red. You know, the root chakra is symbolized, is symbolized by red. And make an offering to the earth, if you can, of red. So it could be um, red petals, red roses, or some red flowers. It could be some red berries, pomegranates, beets, radishes, uh, red apples. It could be red wine. I have red wine that I'm going to pour to the earth. Um, it could be your cycle for the women out there um, so just whatever is called you're called to do make that offering to the earth and I'll be posting every day for the seven days uh, you can start whenever you want to and then I did pull some cards so the cards that I pulled believe it or not are all sevens I got the seven of spades seven of clubs seven of diamond so when we look at the uh, the first card which is the seven of spade so the first card out the deck is the seven, the seven of spade. The seven means earth, no coincidence there since we're talking about the root chakra. And the situation here is saying the power of the earth. We gotta keep in mind that the, the earth has the ability to regenerate itself. Even if, if there's nothing on the earth, the earth can recreate itself. So there is power there on the earth. So just take that power as we settle into our root chakras. Know that power that you have, the power of who you are, know who you are, uh, know who, uh, remind the earth who the earth is. And that there's power there the second card is the seven of clubs the seven of clubs deals with so this is the challenge uh, it's all the opinions and the world view of what's happening with the earth it's all the different things we're seeing all the bad even good stuff that's coming up um, it's us getting caught up in a lot of that uh, so this is the challenge the challenge the earth is being challenged by the population by the people again no surprise there this advice card which is the seven of diamond deals with abundance and what this abundance shows us is that the earth is full of abundance all you have to do is look to find it uh, there's trees 
uh, pecan trees that gives us food. There is, um, we think about wealth, where, those, where does wealth come from? They print money on paper, that paper comes from the trees. The gold, diamonds, crystals, all comes from the earth. So the earth can provide us with the necessary wealth that we need, food. Uh, we think about seafood, plants, herbs, medicine, all of that stuff comes from the earth. So just keep in mind the abundance that the earth brings to us. Again, 777, uh, the power of the earth. Let's not be challenged by this population, the groups, uh, with people being pulled in so many different directions. Keep your mind focused on what the abundance that the earth brings us. And let's replenish the earth in our thoughts, in our vibrations, in our energy. Love you all. Take care.